Muslims all over the world celebrate Eid al-Fitr when a new crescent moon is sighted at the end of Ramadan. This Eid, which is called, which is called Eid al-Fitr, basically it's celebrating the end of the previous month, which was Ramadan, and that is um, it's the month where Muslims um, fast every day for about 12 hours. Fasting is when Muslims don't eat or drink during daylight hours, but people get together to break their fast at sunset. Even though that month obviously is just so beautiful because you're closer to God, you have a stronger faith, and people just, you know, pray and read Quran. So now they're celebrating the end of that month. Hello, my name is Dania. I'm 24 years of age. We're on our way to the mosque because today is Eid. Yay! We usually wake up in the morning, we go to the Eid prayer. When you're going to the mosque, we invite people in the car. And then we go together. We, when we were going, we say La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, La ilaha illallah. There is no God except Allah and Prophet Muhammad is his messenger. And then God is greatest, God is greatest. When you get to the mosque, how do you feel? I feel so happy actually because I'm praying to God. And then you pray with a group of people which is so much better and it's fun. and um, some people might be on their way home, some people might be on their way to visit friends and family but now is the whole day of celebration and food. See you later. Eid means to me uh, a time to spend with family. It's a celebration after uh, the finishing of the fasts and uh, it's a time to enjoy and be with family. Well, they, it's the day that you spread the love. It's um, it's a day that we all cherish. After a long month of fasting and you know all that you've had done, what you've been doing, or you're trying your hardest for your fast, it's just like a nice break. For me personally, it's like I get to um, see loads of cousins and family I don't see usually, and go out to eat and things like that, and you know dress up nice and stuff like that in the evenings as well. See your friends. It's just a nice day for everyone to get together. We might play some football and then. Uh, and then we might go, and then we're gonna go home and uh, have our Eid. To mark this joyous occasion and to spread the Eid cheer, children are given money gifts by their parents and relatives. This is known as an Eid or Eidia. This is your Eidia, your Eid present. Eid for me is an occasion where you're not just celebrating the holy month of Ramadan coming to an end, but it's about people coming together and celebrating that Islam is a religion of peace and purity. On Eid, people can people learn to appreciate each other. At the same time, also we have to uh, remember the less fortunate people as well. You know, sort of less fortunate than us in this day and every day as well. On Eid, um, we give money to poor people and homeless people because whatever you give you get good deeds from Allah and he thinks a good, a good thing of, of you. All Muslims are expected to give a small percentage of their income to charity. This is called zakah and is one of the five obligatory duties of Islam and any extra donations they want to give is called sadaqah. When I give money to people, homeless people, especially homeless people, I feel so proud of myself because I've done a very good thing that God likes and loves. It's an opportunity for people to recognize that there is a lot of love out there that is focused around understanding different people's cultures but at the same time also maintaining the idea that humanity should know one another and everyone is welcome to celebrate. To celebrate. We're going to go to a restaurant during daylight because we can. <laughs> um, we're going to eat. <laughs> Good, enjoy your food. <laughs>